Hello, greetings, friends. This video, short video, is regarding our 2020 Southwestern Caribbean Feast of Tabernacles cruise to give you some information about what we're planning to do and how it all lines up and works out for us on this wide open, beautiful, beautiful ocean you see passing before us. Let's get into this and greatly inspired by this wonderful blue jewel that God has given us to live on. And that takes me right to this verse in Isaiah 11, 9 to get off on the right foot here. For the earth shall be full of the knowledge of Yehovah as the waters cover the sea. Beautiful, beautiful oceans that we have and a great opportunity to get out on them and appreciate the expanse of God's creation. So looking forward now to the way the days lay out and everything for our Southwestern Caribbean cruise. The dates are October 3rd through the 9th, and then the 8th day is on October 10th. And it just so happens, uh, the way the calendar works out this year, which is one of the reasons we're looking at it now, if we don't do it this year, who knows when the calendars will line up like this again, meaning that both of the high days actually occur on the normal weekly seventh-day Sabbath. So if we don't uh, take advantage of the way it lines up this way, we might not be able to have a chance like this come along for quite a while to do a... Uh, Caribbean cruise like this. By the way, that view right there is from my wife and I's balcony as we sat on a similar cruise, watched that beautiful ocean go by, and you know what you're looking at there is a beautiful sunrise over God's ocean. Okay, for most people, Friday, October 2nd will probably be a travel day if you're flying in anyway and you want to make sure that you are able to leave fairly early so you can get in at a decent hour and get situated in your hotel in the Galveston slash Houston area. All right, you fly into the Houston airport, which is right next door to Galveston, which is where the port is at. Some people that are in Texas, maybe, or Louisiana, someplace close down there, you might even be driving. But uh, for most of us flying in, we'll pray come in on Friday, October 2nd. Okay, so once we get into that, we'll have this guy blow the shofar for us and begin our first high day and Sabbath on Saturday, October the 3rd. Enjoy the first day of the feast in the Houston Galveston area. And one more verse for us to look at is Zechariah 14, 16. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is left in all the nations that came against Jerusalem shall go up from year to year to worship the king, comma, Yehovah of hosts, comma, and to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. That's what we're there to do. We're there to celebrate before our Lord, enjoy each other, and have a little snapshot into that future time when all the world will come together to keep the feast. So after that, we'll take us to day two of the feast, and that will be uh, October 4th on a Sunday, but we'll start in the morning with a uh, morning service, then we'll head over to the ship, to embark after we finish our service, maybe around 11, 11.30, somewhere in there, uh, starting at probably 9 or 9.30. Then after we board the ship, you can enjoy, most people will go and enjoy a buffet lunch, and you can just find your friends, find your co-feast goers, and uh, or go hang out by the pool. You can go into the main dining room to maybe see where you're going to be sitting on the first night. After the first night, if we want, they're actually, because we're a group, they're going to be able, they said they would be able to put us all together in one area. So that'll be nice, not to just be all spread out around. We can uh, see each other and dine with each other. I think that would be just wonderful. Anyway, then uh, for the rest of that uh, evening, you can just go around and after we... Uh, leave port, go and enjoy the ship, 
find your, your feast mates and shipmates and have a nice evening together. And when you wake up the next morning, will be day three, and it's a cruise day. So it's uh, cruise day number two. That's the main theater. We'll have our morning service each morning in the main theater. So we'll have uh, some good technology there. This is They have some fabulous evening shows that I'm sure you'll want to see. They do fabulous shows on the ship. But in the morning, we'll start there with our kingdom thinking service. Praising and worshiping, because they shall beat their swords into plowshares. So wonderful to look forward to. After our service in the morning, then it's off to enjoy the ship. And believe me, there is a lot to enjoy on this ship. I think we've got a video here. Yes. <laughs> There we go. That's uh, Liberty of the Seas. I think they've got pretty much everything on there. I'm not sure if they have the laser tag on Liberty of the Seas, but uh, I think they call those the Freedom Class ships, and they are fabulous. They're literally a floating city at sea with lots to do and keep us uh, entertained when we're not entertaining each other, right? So on to... Oh, before we get to the other days, uh, yeah, just wanted to talk about that. They do have specialty restaurants on board that are not part of the all-inclusive price that we'll pay. But if you, I think when we went, we didn't even go to any of the specialty restaurants and we had wonderful food every single night in the main dining room. They serve wonderful food in there. But if you want to get away for one of the special days or nights or something like that, they do have specialty restaurants. You can go into some for some of that. Absolutely fabulous, top-notch shows. And you can go to uh, royalcaribbean.com and look at Liberty of the Seas, and you can see a lot more of the different things that they have. If you've got young kids, they will absolutely not have a single board time. There's a special area for kids. There's arcades. There's the uh, area that they can play in the water. So plenty, plenty, plenty to do on Liberty of the Seas. As they say, an adventure of texas size proportions, and that's uh, for sure. Okay, now on to day four, which is cruise day three. We'll, be, we'll wake up docked at Cosmo. And if you like uh, breakfast, if you're a breakfast person, you can get through the buffet breakfast very, very quickly, usually. And so if you want to get in there and catch breakfast before our morning services will be starting about 8.30 and have praise, be praise and worship before our God and enjoy each other, meet with each other, and then off to enjoy Cosmo. If you so like, if you're someone who, who doesn't like to get off as much, maybe you just want to stay on the ship or on any given day, uh, you're welcome to do that as well, of course. And they do have some deals, I think, on spas, in the spa, uh, things like that on on these dock days, in case you don't want to get off the ship. Okay, Cosimo is a small island uh, southwest, I'll say, of Cancun. Beautiful Caribbean sea all around it, and beautiful water, wonderful wildlife, plenty to do if you want to take excursions into the forest there. You can get out there and do little forest tours, zip lining, things like that. If you want to stay around the water and swim after a turtle like these guys here, you can do that. There's snorkeling at every single stop, the three stops that we'll be making. Or if you want to go to Playa Maya here, there's a Grand Beach Park, and this is only one of the many excursions, all right? But you can book this. It's fairly inexpensive. You can see down there uh, at the bottom of your screen on the right, there's a, a little water park thing right on the beautiful warm water. Or back behind it in the upper left corner, there's another water park there. If you haven't had enough of that, you can do that. If you want to just relax and sit under on one of those lounge chairs, under a tree, 
you can do that as well as I think you'll also find other things that you can take out like uh, little pedal boats and assorted things like that. It's fairly inexpensive. $58 is a pretty good deal for a full day pass that includes the buffet lunch as well as transportation to get to and from there. Okay. Moving along now, day five, cruise day four. You'll wake up docked at Costa Maya. And again, we'll start each morning getting off on the right foot with a wonderful praise and worship service. And then off to enjoy Costa Maya. And let's see, what do we have to do with Costa Maya? Do the uh, snorkeling again, like this girl is doing. Very wonderful water. You can explore the uh Port Beach, relax there if you want, or the, or explore the fishing village, uh, relax on lounges, hammocks, snorkeling, scuba, dolphin swim, glass bottom boat, cycling, paddle boarding, and kayaking. If you go into the rainforest, like I said, on an excursion, you can rain for, go to a rainforest and wildlife tour, zip lining, and there's always a shopping in every single port, believe me, we'll have some shopping for you. So get back on the ship, enjoy a nice dinner, and then wake up uh, docked at Roatan, where we will start our day as each day with a praise and worship service, rejoicing before our Lord on this wonderful oasis in time that he gives us as a preview into what's coming for all the nations eventually. Then go and enjoy Roatan, and I'm probably going to reserve my snorkeling for this beautiful place. It's going to be an island down there, the furthest, probably southwest, that we will be going. A long, narrow island, and boasts one of the second largest uh, coral reefs, I believe. So if you want to do some fabulous snorkeling, this is probably the place to do it. And in this case here, you've got uh, one combined, an excursion that combines horseback riding with snorkeling. They'll take you, the guy takes you out and they say they have friendly horses awaiting us. Great. Nothing better than a friendly horse. And you do that for about 45 minutes or so. Then you come back and you can change into your swimwear, get ready, go out and do some snorkeling around. It says uh, through vibrant, colorful reef riddled with fascinating fish, many different species that we'll get to see there if you want to go down and do that. And uh, then after exploring that, uh, you will go in the uh, shelter, change back into some other clothes, and have a uh, choice of barbecued chicken, coconut beans, rice, and potato salad, or grilled fish, coconut beans, rice, and the fried plantains. So that sounds like fun. And again, it's not uh, all that expensive to do. Uh, usually it's nice to do a couple excursions and do something different. Or if you want to be like this guy, you can just hang out at the Grand Roatan under an umbrella or a tree and take it easy. Uh, there's the information about the second largest reef in the world that's in this area here around Belize, where we'll be, or Costa Maya, uh, the other port that we we're at. So find some wonderful water if you want, or a tree to hang out under. <laughs> then we come to Feast of Tabernacles Day 7, and that will be Cruise Day 6, which is a sea day. Start the morning lifting our voices in praise, lifting our voices more and more praise, and lifting our voices more more praise, worshiping in steady, and then get out and enjoy. Really, this will be our first full day to actually really... Well, no, we did have another day where we we're going to be doing a lot of uh, things on the ship. But there is a lot to do. Did I say there was a lot to do? I'm going to follow this guy down the slide. I'll be right down there behind you, buddy. So watch out for me. Uh, the kids can go ice skating if you want. Uh, they can go hang out at Splash Away Bay. Really, you've got a lot of things for kids to do. There's a special kids area where if you want to go out with the adults, uh, mom and dad want to go out, you can, I think you can actually have your kids. They can go in a certain area for a while, and they're very safe. They do not let the kids out of their sight, and uh, they don't get to leave with anybody except the person that took them there. Uh, if you want to go hang out in that spa I told you about or go in the workout room, you can do that. Uh, go to an ice skating show. I mentioned the other fabulous shows they have, those they have in the evenings, and then the uh, cupcake 
uh, classes if you want to do that. Yum, yum, yum. Or bring your board games. Bring your cards. You can go and enjoy each other. That's really a big part of this, right? We're all together on the same ship in the same area. So that's one of the really wonderful things about uh, these cruises like this is we'll all be together. We can get together with our friends, play games, enjoy each other, get around, have different lunches and meals with different people of, of our group, and really enjoy each other very much. They have lounges. You can go and talk alone someplace, sit and relax, grab a book. And that is plenty to do on the ship. If you like to play hoops, they got a couple of courts for that as well. So there's a, a running track you can go around, uh, a rock wall you can climb if you're real adventuresome. And that takes us to the eighth day, which is Holy Day, the eighth day, Holy Day, and a weekly Sabbath as well. It's a cruise day. And start with our breakfast, then go have our service, and then relax and bask in reflection of the spiritual time that we've all rejoiced together in and refreshed in God's peace. So find a little spot someplace. There's a library. If you want to go in the library there and really have some solitude time, you can go in the library there, take a book, go back to your room if you want. Uh, there's plenty of, there's, there's an all adults area if you want to get away from all the noise and the action and just calm down and relax. There's an all adults area there's the library again, different things you can do. Or if you want to have one of those special meals, like I said, pay a little bit more for it and go into one of the specialty restaurants here and have something really, really special. By the way, at Chops Grill, if you go there on the first night, they give you a free bottle of wine. And I think really a meal like you're seeing them eating there is really not very expensive. I think it's something like 25 bucks. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But I think it's very uh, very inexpensive, $25, $30, something like that. Okay, then we finish up our eighth day, and unfortunately, we got to go home now, people. Yeah, we disembark, uh, wake up on Sunday the 11th, and if, you, if you're planning to stay around Houston longer, you can uh, visit the town, see more of it. A lot of historic things there you can go look at um, or return home and continue to reflect on the wonderful time that we've all shared together. So looking at some of the pricing now, we've got special group pricing and the pricing that I've put on here is actually our group pricing and it includes the tax and the port fee, which is about $100. So if you go on their website and you see, oh, wait a minute, it says it's like 400 and something dollars. Well, yeah, but that doesn't include the tax and the port fee. So this includes it all. And they're also probably will be giving us, I think each state will probably get about a $50 ship credit to use at any of those restaurants we mentioned or uh, the coffee shops or any anything else on board there. I think you'll be able to use, uh, have some money there to spend on that. But pretty reasonable for two, as you can see up there in the right corner, $1,138. When that includes all of your food, that's pretty reasonable for, um, uh, seven nights out at sea there um, with all the food you can eat that's a pretty good price I know that my wife and I when we go to the feast we spend way more than that when you include the hotel and the meals together we spend much much more than that so that's for an interior room and let's face it you're really not going to be spending that much time in your room so if you're on a, a tighter budget that's uh, a very, very good deal. If you want to be able to see the ocean going by, uh, the ocean view is still pretty reasonable there, or even the balcony if you want to get that. Suite rooms, we don't have pricing on that right now, but if you've uh, got extra money you want to spend on that, you can also get a suite. So that's pretty much those pricings. In addition to that, I've priced out, if you're coming from the LA area, LAX, Right now, when I last I priced it, it was about $400 a person to fly out of LAX into Houston. So you simply add that, that's round trip. And then uh, the two nights we'll be spending at a hotel there. Uh, I priced one out, it was about uh, $104, I think it was. 
and so still fairly uh, economical but we will have our own special website that we will be putting up for this I don't have it put together yet because we actually uh, at the time of this recording so the website hasn't been put up for it but we'll have our own website where you can then go on it's a $250 deposit you put that down and then I don't think the balance is due until uh, in July so you can go there and select your the room that you want if you've got special needs and a lot of different things like that you can do that on our very own website that we'll have specifically just for us so don't go book it through the Royal Caribbean website you will end up paying more for that and you won't get your uh, room bonuses probably and other things like that so send me an email at 2020feast at toTheWay.org or contact David let him know but if you want, if you're, you're gonna need that web address and we will be posting that in different places later on so that you'll know where to go and book your wonderful feast time so that's about it for now if you have any questions let me know at 2020feast at to the way.org and hopefully let me know what your interest is and we look forward to seeing you out on God's beautiful beautiful blue jewel floating in space. Thank you.